under our universe, we'll be talking about um, more chemicals that have been found on Saturn's moon Titan that may be essential for life. The moon's dense atmosphere, rich organic environment, and prebiotic chemistry are thought to be similar to Earth's primor primordial atmosphere. This is Saturn's largest moon, Titan, that we're talking about, and it's gaining more attention with scientists' latest discoveries. As such, scientists believe that the moon could act as a sort of laboratory for studying the processes whereby chemical elements become the building blocks of life. These studies have already led to a wealth of information, which include the recent discovery of carbon chain aminos, or anions, which are thought to be building blocks for more complex molecules. And now, thanks to data from, <clears throat> from the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, also known as ALMA, A-L-M-A, which is in Chile, a team of NASA researchers have detected the presence of acrylon, acrylon trilib, another chemical element that could be the basis for life on the moon. The study that details their findings, entitled, entitled I'm sorry, Alma Detection and Astrobiological Potential of Vinyl Cyanide on Titan, was published <clears throat> on July 28th, or the July 28th issue of the journal Science Advances. In it, the team explains how data from the Alma array indicated that large quantities of C2H3CN ex exists on Titan, on Saturn's largest moon, most likely known or within the moon's stratosphere. We found convincing evidence that C2H3CN is present in Titan's atmosphere, and we think a significant supply of this raw material reaches the surface. It's a quote taken from <clears throat> the science advances from the actual NASA team. Also known as vinyl cyanide, that C2H3CN, it's used here on Earth in the manufacturing of plastics. In the past, it's been speculated that this compound could be present in Titan's atmosphere. However, it was only recently that scientists have become aware of the possibility that it, it could be the basis of living creatures within Titan's rich organic environment, with its steady supply of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. This is based on a study that was conducted in 2015 where a team of Cornell scientists sought to determine if organic cells could form in Titan's harsh environment. Given that the moon experiences average surface temperatures of negative 179 um, degrees Celsius and the atmosphere is predominantly nitrogen and hydrocarbons, lipid bilayer membranes, which are the foundation of life on Earth, could not survive there. However, after conducting molecule or molecular su simulations, the team determined that small organic nitrogen compounds would be capable of forming a sheet of material similar to a cell membrane. They also determined that these sheets could form hollow microscopic spheres that they dubbed azotos azotosomes, <laughs> and that the best chemical candidate for this sheet would be that acrylatonerol which is that CH, C2H3CN. Now, for the sake of their study, the Godard team combined 11 high-resolution data sets from ALMA, which they retrieved from an archive of observations that were used to calibrate the array. From that data, Palmer and her team determined that <clears throat> the alkylon is relatively abundant to Titan's atmosphere, reaching concentrations of up to 2.8 parts per billion. They also determined that it would be almost or most common in Titan's upper atmosphere. So it's here that carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen could chemically bond from exposure to sunlight and energetic particles from Saturn's magnetic field. Eventually, the archelon would make its way down through the cold atmosphere and condense to form rain droplets that would fall to the surface the team also estimated how much of this material would accumulate in Laguerre Mar, which is Saturn's second largest methane lake over time. Finally, they calculated that within every cubic centimeter of its volume, Laguerre Mar could form as many as 10 million ozo ozotosomes. 
that roughly 10 times the amount of bacteria that exists in the waters along Earth's coastal regions. As Martin Cordoner, one of the senior authors on the paper, indicated, these findings are certainly encouraging when it comes to the search for extraterrestrial life in our solar system. Now, granted the study and the basis of its conclusions are quite speculative, but they do show that certain, that certain um, established parameters within those parameters, life could exist within our solar system well beyond the limits of our sun's habitable zone. The study could also have implications in the hunt for life in extrasolar systems. If scientists can definitely, definitive, definitively, I'm sorry, um, say that life does not need warmer temperatures and liquid water to exist, that opens it up, up to immense possibilities of life as well. Now I wanted to share with you guys a video here that kind of explains a little bit more about what I'm talking about. So here you guys go. Where else might life exist in our solar system? That's a question that NASA scientists are trying to answer. An intriguing place we are studying is Saturn's largest moon, Titan. It's the only body in the solar system, other than Earth, to feature seas of liquid on its surface. But that liquid is methane instead of water. The cell membranes we have on Earth, part of our building blocks for life, could not form here. Previous computer simulations investigated which chemicals could be used to make cell-like membranes on Titan. It's been calculated that this molecule, acrylonitrile, is the best candidate to form the most stable membranes. What's exciting is that our team at NASA Goddard has now detected large amounts of this chemical in Titan's atmosphere using spectroscopic data from ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, located in Chile. And since Titan has rain, a significant amount may be reaching the surface and ending up in Titan's vast lakes. More research is needed, but by definitively detecting this astrobiologically relevant molecule on Titan, we are another step closer to understanding how and where life could exist in our solar system. <clears throat> well, there you go. And hopefully that um, gave you guys a little bit more information about what's going on um, with Saturn's moons and what scientists are speculating could be occurring. And also in the upcoming decades, several missions are expected to go to Titan, ranging from submarines that will explore its methane lakes to drones and aerial platforms that will study its atmosphere and surface. Already it is expected that they will obtain valuable information about the formation of the Saturn system, but to also discover entirely new forms of life that would truly be earth shattering, <laughs> wouldn't it? I'm going to share with you guys another video that explores the Kraken Mar, which is the largest known body of liquid on the surface of Saturn's moon Titan.
There you guys have it. You can find more information pertaining to Saturn's moons, Titan, as well as the ke these chemicals found um, in those regions that could be possibly sustaining life um, on universetoday.com. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Vanessa. You're watching Believe. You can check us out, of course, on believe.love, as well as youtube.com forward slash believe loves you. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to come back tomorrow and get some more amazing stories. Bye now.